Fourth of July, baby. Those are fun. I wish I was there right now. Let's give another big hand for the Hawkins High Marching Band. I hope you're all having a good time tonight. I can't hear you. You're having a good time. What an enthusiastic crowd, though. Keep your arms inside. Uh oh, I can't get out now. Is that Karen? Why do Is that the you wheelers? enjoy torturing me? Because it's fun, then. Yeah, Dad. Because it's fun. <laughs> Dang, she grew up. But enough of me blabbering. Who here wants to see some fireworks? <laughs> Why are we stopping? Because I slipped Jimmy a five. You what? Come on. These are the best seats in the house. The best <laughs> seats in the house. Oh my gosh. Man, five hours can get you a lot back then. Oh yeah. That was pretty, wasn't it? Yeah. Why am I nervous? Right. <laughs> Mom, the trees. What, baby? The trees are moving. They <laughs> work. Oh. Yeah, that was a big one, wasn't it? That's the army, ain't it? It's that mind flare, right? Oh yeah, the army turned in. Yeah. Remember it gagooptified itself. Yeah, I know. I, I tried to erase that from my mind. Combine like terms, baby. You damn cow sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter seven, the bite. Hope you guys are doing good, man. Thank you guys for tuning in all season. Most of you guys have been awesome. 5% of you guys have been annoying in the comments. But hey, we love all y'all so much. The best bite I ever had was those sausage rolls. Mm. Remember that time you put onion in it for Dude, no at all? because. One time I was like, baby, can you make sausage balls? I, I, I'm craving them. I come in there an hour later, she was, don't put onions in them. I thought it was going to taste like onion rings. Okay, geez. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> he said he was building something. That it was all for me. It was gonna kill all of you. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> I never mentioned how cool Nancy's shirt Did you guys is. Hear that? See, it's up right Billy, now. When he told you this, it was here in this room. It's out. He knows we're here. Jonathan is the first one out the door, boy. The goat. Things coming for that ass, boy. Come on, we gotta go now. Mom. <laughs> they seem drunk. Why would they be oh, drunk? I'm natural. Check it out. What in the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't Steve have like a migraine right now? Steve, his pupils are super dilated. Oh yeah, Maybe I was about to say he's, he's still in that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Not the nose boob. Drug? I don't do drugs. It's only marijuana. This isn't funny, okay? I need to know what they did to you. Are you gonna die on us? We all die, my strange little child friend. <laughs> They're gonna be looking for us up there, so I need you to tell me where you parked your car. Oh, oh no. Baby. The car's off the board. What? They took the keys, the Russians. They took the keys. <laughs> like, that's a bummer, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. The biggest bummer. Steve, can you taste the air? I taste it. I taste it. I taste it. I was about to say, wasn't that thing like right there? Yeah, it's game time. They had to go load up. <laughs> What's it doing? What's it doing? Waiting outside? <laughs> Maybe it tripped. <laughs> it was just right down the driveway. What if it's in a trap? <laughs> yeah, a mind player trap. This reminds me of season one. It's close. Where'd it go? They probably had that coffee cup 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> what? I knew it was coming. Nice swing, John. That's like the whole town of Hawkins, like squished up in a. <laughs> L. Holy shit. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, she looks like Tobey Maguire in Spider Man. Oh my god. It's an Easter egg. Oh my gosh, she can't keep doing this over and over. 
Get her, Mike. Where's John? Take the shot, Nancy. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Nice shot. Boy, she's lucky she ain't shooting her in the foot with them shotgun shells. Erica will not believe that. Nah, brother, get that. <laughs> Lucas chopping mucus right now. Oh, good job. What in the heck are they gonna do? That was not cute, and normally I think stuff like that's cute. It, it bit her. A G. I'll just split that wig, didn't she? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that thing is huge. Where are we going? Just trust me. This episode's that 10 out of 10 so far. It's so All stressful. <laughs> Dustin and Erica are just the cutest. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's that, uh, Back to the Future. You know how many times we've been wanting to start that? Yeah, I heard it's good. It's like, don't watch the movie. We want to watch it. Then watch it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, it's official. I'm never having kids. What are we doing here? Laying low, cooling off. Tell me you're joking. What What did they give them? Why did they do that? They're on that goofy What's gas, that, that true serum. But it's making them like crazy. <laughs> it's it's kind of like going to the dentist. That's what they're trying to portray it as. Sorry, keys. Two keys. All right, so we get wow. the keys and then we turn the machine off. That's what he says. Yeah, there is. Our military. Who are coming? Well, we don't know that anymore because you yelled at them like it was a parent-teacher conference and then you hung up on them. So we don't know what the hell is going on because now we're... Wait, wait, what are we doing? Oh, wait, that's right. Oh, you can't my God. handle this, then just turn around and drop me off first. What are you going to do? We'll do anything if it gets me away from you. <laughs> this interminable bickering was amusing at first. He's too real. Who <laughs> drove like that? <laughs> she needs some of them. Uh... Oh, never mind. Need mm. more than that. First, we need to stop the bleeding, then clean, then disinfect, then bandage. Yes, ma'am. Skateboard, trust me. <laughs> Keep the pressure on it nice and firm, okay? Good job, Max. Dang, Max must be falling. Max with the facts, boys. Does any of this help? No. Go get me a washcloth and a bowl. A bowl? Lucas. Go. Okay. <laughs> what did you just dump that junk on the ground? Like the thing in the hospital. Only bigger. Yeah, a lot bigger. Why wouldn't it be with the cereal? I don't know. <laughs> what else do you use a bowl for? I, I don't know. Oh, shit. Distracted. <laughs> Distracted. Else in there bleeding Seems to death. That's an understatement. That doesn't look like a bowl. Nah, <laughs> it's way better. We've got ourselves a stick of dynamite. Well, they might we need that. kill that thing with fireworks. Against that thing? She's gonna need some backup. True. Does that hurt? Mm, yeah, but not bad. one of them kids is gonna mess gonna up have an awesome scar. and blow their hand off. You'll look even more badass. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I've been meaning to tell you something. It's just being broken up, it's been hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do say it makes you crazy. What <laughs> makes you crazy? You never, you ever heard that? Term. You know, <laughs> no, like she hasn't. Phrase like, like, like an, like, old people say it to each other sometimes. Old it's, people. Yeah. What I <laughs> want to say is that I just, I know that I. Dustin, Mike, Dustin, Mike. <laughs> Dustin, you're going way too fast. I can't understand you. I know that sounds insane, but the Russians have infiltrated Hawkins. <laughs> the goddamn Russians. <laughs> and now they're using it to open the gate. Dustin, you're you're breaking up, and now they're after us, and we don't have a way out of here. Dustin, you're cutting out. Oh my gosh. Mike, Mike, Mike do you copy? No. Shit, not now. Please, not now. Mike, <laughs> Dustin, Mike. What is it? Do you have any batteries? Double A. <laughs> <laughs> I need eight. Eight. So let's go to Plan B. Plan B. What's Plan B? <laughs> wow. 
Oh my god. <laughs> hey, Robin. You gotta check this out. Check this. This ceiling. It's beautiful. It's a nice ceiling, though, for sure. <laughs> well, I'm glad they're not going off far. <laughs> Is it making them sick? Oh, they still have that guard. Here. Go over the plans with Smirnoff. I can help look. I know you scared the children. Jim, if this is about earlier. Stay you put, might... Freud! You hear me? Stay put! He said it'll scare the children. <laughs> I just I just want to find the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My best shot. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, here you go. <laughs> here, <fine. laughs> one more, one more. Uh-oh. <laughs> what you have for, dick? <laughs> come on, come on, pick up, pick up, pick up, you call me bastards! <laughs> the fuel. I told you we're gonna see her do that in some strange places. What? Oh sorry. <laughs> that grocery store has personality, don't it? How do you even drink that? Because it's delicious. What? Is that just regular Coke? Is that after they changed the formula? They didn't like it ever. <laughs> so. Oh really? Preferred the original thing. So no, they're like, I'm what? not talking about the thing. I'm talking about new Coke. It's the same concept, dude. Uh, actually, it's not the same concept. It is the same concept. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Did you find him? What is? Mm -mm. Is that implying it's in L? L's got some upside down in her. You think we puked it all up? Maybe. Ask me something. Interrogate me. <laughs> okay. Interrogate you, sure. When was the last time you uh, peed your pants? Today. What? When the Russian doctor took out the bone saw. Oh my God. <laughs> it was just a little oh bit God. though. Yeah, it's definitely still in her system. Yeah. <laughs> she said today. Uh, <laughs> floor's disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, well, I already got a bunch of blood and puke on my shirt, so what do you think? About? This girl. She sounds awesome. She is awesome. And what about the guy? She wouldn't stop staring at you. Nancy? Mrs. Click? Tammy Thompson. Oh, oh she likes girls. I wanted her to look at me. Damn, Steve. Oh, oh. She couldn't pull her eyes away from you and your stupid hair. And you asked dumb questions. And you were a douchebag. <laughs> and you didn't even like her. And I was not expecting I'm, this. What the hell? <laughs> into my pillow. Tammy Thompson's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. I would feel so dumb. <laughs> Poor Steve. He's had oh, such bad luck with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He thinks they're okay. still. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> His seriousness was honestly hilarious. <laughs> Mind fly your Cyrus. Oh no. Well, he didn't get washed up in that creature. That's because he's the one who's. He's the mind. Those are just little army ones. He's one of the generals. Mm -mm. He just left him alone to have fun. He's probably going to win so much stuff. Hey, hey, Karen. Oh, no. I hate that ride, especially now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How funny to see you here. Where are the chicks? I, I haven't seen them. I don't think they're here yet. Where are they? Do you know how it is? Summer. <laughs> probably getting into some kind of trouble. <laughs> He's like, yeah, trouble. <laughs> yeah. Last warning, you two, up against the wall. That's how they are. <laughs> On your life, Magnum. Just <laughs> rub his head on the sand. Holy shit. Miss Wheeler would love that thing. Oh. Blind. Yeah, it must have been good. Do you see everyone like having inside jokes well, about shit, it? Well, shit, that worked. Of course it worked. Now we just have to get on the bus with the rest of these plebes and home sweet home. Here we come. <laughs> come on, let's go, let's go. Oh my God, what the heck? I did not realize he could do that. That's three green. And here's dart number four. He's, he's like, how is this rigged? I know, he's like. 
I'm so dead. No! <laughs> Please don't hurt him. I like Alexi now. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. No! Predator. <gasps> no! Why am I so sad about that? Man. I was so happy for him today. Maybe he's not gone yet. But that it's still right. so sad, though. Come on. Do you on. think he had a bulletproof vest on? No. So, hopefully, he'll, hopefully he'll be all right. Oh. Oh. Take out Alexi, Jim! Uh-uh. We gotta go. <laughs> They're bold. They'll just shoot people out there like that. couple, don't they? <laughs> well, it's like they say. Someone for everyone. Oh. Mr. just has no idea. Find Murray. Get the car. Bring it around back. Oh my gosh. What's that? A house of mirrors? <laughs> oh my god. That scared me. Oh my god. No! Don't be gone, brother. Hey, I just left for a minute for a corn dog. Dang. He's not gonna get a proper burial or anything. Get him, Hop. And then there's this guy. He's got that silence weapon, though. You know, that's why I don't like him. Oh, so do we, though. Crush that thing. Man down, boy. What are you doing? She hey, can't leave. Larry. Joyce. <laughs> Deserved. <laughs> they say, yeah, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Klein's a swine. Why he got the fingerless gloves? Obviously, we're just scared to like ricochet, right? Oh, okay. We're scared of getting shot in the face. Hey. That's right, Hot. We're sick of that. See, if they had a house of mirrors like that in Russia growing up, you'd probably had the advantage. Yeah, I would have the disadvantage in there. Come on. I'll stop. Go down the side. <laughs> oh my gosh. Perfect time. Go, go, go. They're gonna shoot your tires. Alexi? <laughs> that poor guy. Hey. Translate. Let's go. So Hopper's about to go to the mall. Is that not the same mall I bought my camera lens from? Or was it in Atlanta? Hmm. I think we went to Atlanta, didn't we? I might have bought my camera lens from this mall, y'all, for real. It does look oddly familiar. Oh my gosh. Did L do it? Probably so. To the truth. Yes. Dang! I was wondering how they get that car in the mall. Like what door did it come through? said code red and they came. <laughs> you flung that thing like a hot wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, what are you doing here? That's them. It's their fault. True, yeah. It's totally true. It's absolutely our fault. L? Who's L? I'm sorry, who are you? I'm Robin. I work with Steve. She cracked the top secret code. This exchange. Whoa, whoa, whoa. L! Whoa, whoa, whoa. L. My leg, my leg. Her leg, her leg, okay. Get that out. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Ooh. Ja, ja. Help! 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 Are you okay? 
Oh, she's getting taken over. Oh, no. Dude, do you think if they take over L, they'll have psychic powers? I think they'll try to scream and open the thing. All right, guys. Um, That episode was genuinely one of the best episodes of the series. I thought from start to finish, like, they was just... It they were moved. killing that episode. It moved. it moved, man. That was that was genuinely... That was one of the funnest episodes I, I think I've seen so yeah. far. Like, that was so much fun. I don't know what it is about this mall, Um, but being in the mall in the show is so much fun because it's, it's a familiar sight, you know, in a yeah. sense, because uh, originally I didn't even realize that was the mall that was near our house but now looking at it it's hard not to see it right but the way they made it just seem like it was from a different time and era is just so cool to me and i just think the relationships are about to get so much better now i think the show it's almost like in survivor we just merged yeah we basically did. yeah so i think it's so sick that robin's like in with the gang now yeah because there was and something erica, essentially yeah well yeah because erica needs to start hanging out because she's proven herself to be such a great character and she's mm -hmm. useful so i think it's only fitting but it'd be kind of weird because she needs like some someone else in her age group yeah. to hang out because she's still going to be like outcast a little bit because she's so young but yeah. <laughs> I like this her is such a good so episode much, man what do you this, think this episode was great I think of all Stranger Things this one was my favorite you think this was the best episode yeah but it's because you know we know everybody at this point so it was just so fun it, like just the from like, of the July Wheelers Fair. being there to just like seeing how they're, they're like more of like a family now mm -hmm. that time's passed just all this Russian activity oh, going on Lexi, is fun that was man so sad. Lexi and that was so annoying because <sighs> I know I get Murray Hale because he's weird because he's got this whole like he just wants to be. He's like, like a, a love, love guru. guru. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. exactly. And that person's always a little, you know, you know weird. Because, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. But I really love the character, man. But, I like the guy. But a lot. they're weird in a way that you like them. If that makes sense. Right. Yeah. You like them because they're weird. He's a in small doses. Yeah. Like you don't want to be around that person 24 seven doing that. Because they're too real. They're too real. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like, come on, dude. Let me have a little bit. Right. But I really, <laughs> I really like the character, man. I do give yeah. him a hard time, but uh, definitely love having his character. He enhances is the show 100%. Yeah. And I, I just thought it was so funny how, this, how the games were rigged and all that. Yeah. Oh. But ultimately, man, we just reunited. We reunited with Steve and Dustin and then we, mm. you know, we finally caught back up with Lucas and uh, Max and Elle and all these characters. So it's just really good to finally have the band back together. Yeah. Per se. And it's going to be good to see Steve and um, Robin not getting their faces beat in because mm. that was a little much to see. We, we ain't trying to see those two get beat up. I right. thought the <laughs> craziest part of the show was Steve basically, not only does he get admit the first time he's ever been in love which is not easy to do but he's extremely vulnerable with this girl and then he tells her how he feels about her like he's just he's he's executing he's in, he's in and out the pocket you know what i'm saying like he's really doing a good job and then she hits him with the brother you don't know me like that and then i'm just sitting there thinking like steve how do you not how do you not pick up on that <laughs> the same way i did it <laughs> I was like, when she said that, I was like, I know, but what? If like, let's just say, let's just say, if I was about to spend all this time with you intimately, boys, we gonna know, like we're gonna know what's <laughs> up. So it just seemed, you know, that just sucked for Steve. But I thought the way they chose to handle it was genuinely so mature. I thought yeah. it was sweet. I mean, as far as Robin, like Robin, Robin from her perspective, just, you know, she probably feels like Steve's just such a cool dude because he is and yeah. he's such a cool guy to hang out with. And so from her perspective, she loved she's, to pick on him. Well, she's know? not doing anything wrong. She just was yeah. like, that's my buddy, Steve. We work together. We get along great. Yeah. But the reason they got along so great is because she sees him as a friend, not yeah. in a jealous, emotional. Right. Type so of when way. she was doing that, picking on him, you suck. It wasn't, it was more like she was doing it to be playful. Like, and you Steve. Know liked it because well he didn't pay it attention until dustin started bringing it up well i think a part of steve liked it because steve's used to being like steve the hair harrington so yeah <laughs> he's used to like catching them girls in the headlights you know what i'm saying yeah but when they aren't very intimidated by him the same way that robin wasn't and they give it back to him and they're like aggressive not aggressive but they're yeah not shy with him i think that was yeah. something that was just different to him i think it intrigued right. him and uh and i mean robin's just such a likable person you know yeah. i don't blame steve for like I, I really like her character she's such a nice person so i didn't realize that she was so that was definitely shocking but i think that for steve i mean that's definitely a learning experience right <laughs> but i think the way that they handled it was just the most mature thing i've ever seen and i just right. thought it was a beautiful scene so yeah, it was, I, yeah I really like the scene the way steve like took that that l he hard took the to l the, and just, he took it and just made it like he'd made her he made her like feel like good about it instead of being awkward about right, it right he, he made her feel like because that's about, a very vulnerable yeah. situation to put yourself in if yeah. you're steve you know as you get older it's not quite you know what I'm saying you get older and you realize it's just whatever right but when you're Steve's age man you're still like developing your identity and stuff so I just thought in terms of an episode man that was just that was perfection that yeah, was so good I, I think it. uh even the mind flare even though they chose to execute the mind flare is just perfect I really hope L's okay 
and yeah my thing about that yeah. was that so when it bit her was it getting her location or was it taking her powers it looked like it injected something in her you yeah know, the same way all the other people so maybe she'll be turning into so the- you know when she just cracked that thing in half mm-hmm. so th- this is like evening her powers out well that thing was super strong so i think that took a lot out of her and left her vulnerable for yeah sure. true um almost like her immune system's down right or something so my p- personal prediction by the end of the series is i think 11 is gonna die <gasps> that's in this mean. in the series not the season Oh just, my! Maybe it'll be season seven. I have no idea. Hey, was this like a book or anything? Because you know, probably not. Right, Somebody like everything's kind of based off something. Right. Is this a completely original series, or was it based off something? I'm sure there's something. Let us in the know. Sci-fi realm that has something to do with this. Right. Someone said there's a movie that's similar to this, but I don't really remember what it's called. It's like superhero something. All right. Uh, well, let's get let's get into another episode. Man. Let's do it. Hopefully, this one this one's the season finale. So this episode better be better, which is gonna be hard to that's gonna be hard to do. Let's I don't go. know if it can. Guys, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help a wee little channel like ourselves. So I have to say it all the time, but it's just a reminder. You know what I'm saying? I just personally always forget unless the person reminds me, but I do try to like, comment, and subscribe on people that I like stuff. So thank you that guys. Man. Right. Let's go. One more season of Stranger Things, and then we're all caught up. Still nothing? Nothing. Food court? You sure they said food court? I'm sorry. Have my translation skills been letting you down? We don't know. It's your kids. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, what is Ooh. that? There's something in there. Mm. Jesus Christ, keep her talking. Keep her awake, okay? I thought, hey, 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 no, they away, can't just cut her leg Let's off. Get her on the side. Get her on the side. They gotta cut hey, it out. The goalie on my soccer team, Beth Wildfire, this other girl slid into her leg and like the whole bone came out of her knee six inches or something. It was insane. Robin. Yeah? You're not helping. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did she say that? It's gonna hurt like hell, okay? Okay. Here, you're gonna want to bite down on this, okay? Jesus Christ. Good job, John. Uh. Holy shit. Holy shit. Jonathan's like, oh gosh. Do it. No. No. <gasps> no. This is gross. He didn't get it. She can do it. I can do it. Yeah, do it like with your mind, cause oh, oh, eek, oh boy, oh there we go. Yeah, get it on the inside. Get it out first. Yeah, Robin's probably like, what in the world? Oh no, she just screamed. Ugh. No, don't let it get away. Someone's up on it. Yeah. Pop the shoes. Let's go. The goat. The shoes for me. I feel like the damn Avengers don't walk in. Let's go. Mm-hmm. This show's got that cast. Yeah. That's the thing about this show, man. The writing, all that, they could have done everything the exact same, but without this cast. Because when I was that age, I was like listening to the Spice Girls. I would have been like so. You're like, la, 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 la. <laughs> yeah, I would have been like <laughs> so not sure of any of that stuff. It's scary, Spice. Oh my gosh. Chapter 8, the Battle of Starcourt. That sounds cool. I'm ready to go. I know. Little do we know it's just a mall, but you know, it does sound pretty intense. The Mind Flayer. It built this monster in Hawkins. How big is this thing? It's big. <laughs> the Mind Flayer made its weapon with melted people. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm just making sure. Are we sure this thing is still out there, still alive? I'll beat the shit out of it, but yeah, it's still alive. But if we close the gate again. We cut the brain off from the body. And kill it, theoretically. Yeah! That makes sense. I get it. Okay, this is what Alexi called the hub. Now, the hub takes us to the vault room. Okay, where's Where's the the gate? gate? Right here. I don't know the scale on this, but I think it's fairly close to the vault room, maybe 50 feet or so. More like 500. (laughs) Bowman. Listen, Mr. (laughs) Bumman, I'm not trying to tell you how to do things, but I've been down in that shithole for 24 hours. (laughs) Look at Lucas, he's like, I'm sorry, why is this four-year-old speaking to me? (laughs) Um, I'm 10, you bald bastard. Erica! (laughs) Just the facts! She's right. (laughs) But you're all gonna die, but you don't have to. Excuse me. Sorry, may I? Please. Okay. That will lead you to the base of the weapon. It's a bit of a maze down there, but between me and Erica, we can show you the way. You can show her to go back here. Don't either. worry, you can do all the fighting and the dangerous hero shit, and we'll just be your navigators. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
No. <laughs> I love that. I love that he said no. <laughs> we could have really used you guys down there. Could have used you up here too. Yeah, man. We missed you, dude. Oh, Big time. Please don't cry, nerd. Erica. <laughs> Keep saying my name, see what happens. Hey, heads up. <laughs> we can navigate just with someplace safe. It's not that simple. The signal won't reach. Not with this. <laughs> if you want us to navigate, you got us. But we need a head start and a car. <laughs> oh, Who's driving? <laughs> I do walk around with my head down a little bit. <laughs> Kicking some dirt. Right. I'm not worried about me, Mom. I'm worried about you. I'm going to be fine. She better be fine. <laughs> my battery is low, but it will recharge. I know it will, kid. I can fight. Better than any of us. But right now, I need you safe. Hey, we should probably go. They're going to Murray's. <laughs> yeah, they are, right? Mike. Uh-oh. Take care of her, Mike. Be careful. Come on. <laughs> Two-man operation. Two! Can we explain it to him? We have two options here, Jim. We can turn the machine off or we can explode it. Oh, yes, yeah. says who? Says the man who built it! Yeah, and we want to explode or it! Or else our heroic efforts will be <laughs> yeah, for right. This is a three-man operation, Jim, not two! Yeah, three! <laughs> Oh, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm so stressed for some reason. Well, well I know the reason. I think it's because Elle's okay. leg is broken. I don't know. Serious, come on! Didn't your mom just buy this car? <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Did you leave the lights on? No! Do we have gas? Yes! <laughs> come on! Whoa, 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 just stop, stop! Pop the hood. Okay, Jonathan. Well, yeah, that's what you want to do, right? The ignition cable's gone. Just gone? <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be Billy. Oh no. There he is. So I can get away from my damn sister. Back in the wall, go! Go, 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 go! Dang. So they even have to be at the Battle of Dark Court. He looks so scary. A solid P, which is laudable given the situation and time constraints. <laughs> Dare I say, if it all goes right, they'll never even know we were here. Oh, oh my god, and immediately, immediately. Извините на сенашний яшлий вабид. Тинант? Какой лейтенант? Oh. Лейтенант Молотов? Ain't those those Russian bottles that you throw? Molotov? Yeah, yeah. This is crazy. I had it under control. Yeah, sure you did. I'm improvising. Oh my god. Dang. <laughs> They're just gonna steal their uniforms. <laughs> Turn left. There's not a road Easy here. Turn eyes. left now. Ah! 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 Why is he driving so fast though? Like he's out of control. Just <laughs> slow down a little bit. <laughs> oh, because oh, they need yeah, to make it up a hill. The Todd Father. I guess the Todd Father has his limitations. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, hit the emergency brake. Scoop troop. <laughs> I love it. We're trapped in the mall in the need of emergency transportation. Practicing. <laughs> We're gonna kill him, aren't you? Uh, geez. This is just a precaution, okay? And not just against Billy. Are we not gonna talk about the fact that Hopper just sprayed like. down four dudes and we didn't even bat an eye? <laughs> it's pretty brutal. Do you copy? We just need the ignition cable. Oh yeah. You would think they would take that out if it was just sitting in the mall though. Well then how are they gonna get it back out? You know? Let me try. L. Mm -mm. I can do it. At least help her. I know y'all could give it a quick a little nudge. Get some momentum going or something. Come on. Zibirayam. To take care. Novinki. Vichera Vetram Prilitzili. Obrashaitis Sonsum. As a chim sonsa. Kagdama yes druga druga tavarish. Tosh tavarish. Ibu tilka stalichni. <laughs> Good thing Murray's also like charming them. <laughs> Hopper looked Russian in here. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have believed it. Why are you talking so much? <laughs> he was nice. Yeah, I mean, we should probably invite him over after all this is done. Can I get bacon and casserole? Get a six pack. She was like, she's she infiltrating. Left. You know, I have a drink. Oh, 
Anyone want to trade jobs? Bald Eagle, do you copy? Bald <laughs> Eagle, I repeat, this is Scoop Troop. Do you copy? Yes, I copy. We reach the vent. I'll contact you when I need you. Until <laughs> then, silence. Roger that, Bald Eagle. This is Scoop Troop going radio silent. 10-10, over. <laughs> I hate children. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been so proud. <laughs> They know walkie talkie talk? I don't even know it. Remember, if anyone says anything, just, just smile and nod. Oh, she couldn't do it. <laughs> Man, I hate hey. to tell y'all, but it, that'd be a lot easier with your hands well, than dude. pushing on that damn pole. Physics. I don't know about that, man. <laughs> you know. How do we get it open? Uh, it made for a good shot. You can get so much more leverage if you just put your, if you bench press it. I don't know. Hold on. Whatever. What's she doing? They're going actually off the <laughs> Yeah, what is she doing? Oh, the, I remember that. Crush it. Is it completely out? Hell. Oh. Are you okay? This is not good. Do you see <clears> it? I don't know. That should be right here. Distribute here. Distribute. Oh my gosh. Is here. This is not the time. Wait. <laughs> That's a nightmare. <laughs> Literally. Nancy! It's about to go crashing in. Wow. Oh my gosh. There ain't a cute thing about that creature. You can't even find something cute about no, it? No, I don't like it at all. I think despite everything, I mean, despite the arguing, I think we make a pretty good team. Me too. We made it this far, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Did I get the job or what? Hire Joyce. Oh, Hire Joyce. Detective Byers. You've been saying it. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. How it goes? How what goes? I forgot Ooh, that's if, even if happening. If we actually do make it out of here, we deserve to celebrate, right? Your life's gonna get so boring. Absolutely. Yeah, your Enzo's is pretty good. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what do you say? Friday, 8 o'clock? Uh, L likes to watch Miami Vice on Fridays. <laughs> it's it 10, so I, I can be out late on Friday. I love that. Okay, well, how about 7 then? <laughs> 7? Enzo's Friday. I meet you there. <laughs> no, you pick me up. Picking you up 7 p.m. Friday. Yeah, it's a date. Oh. Just for clarification, just because I, I mean, just if, when you say date, just so that we're crystal clear about things. So yeah, there's hot. No confu yeah. Stop talking or I can change my mind. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Scoop's true. This is hmm, Bald Eagle. <laughs> he hates that because he's Russian. Junction. All right, so if memory serves, this is right after the My Little Pony thesis. We went left, so he has to go right. right. Roger that. Flying right. <laughs> Little shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Not the ominous synth music. <laughs> Griswold family, this is Scoop Troop. Do you copy? Over. <laughs> So it has a personality. Man, that thing just hung up on him. <laughs> well. Yeah, you cannot love that thing. Dart would never. You a damn hero, Steve. <laughs> Stay in touch. Oh, Robin's going to. Let it go. To scoop troop. What's your twenty? I told you, radio silence. <laughs> yeah, but we have a problem. What kind of problem? How many rows of teeth do you think? More than a shark or less? Mm, to be honest, it probably has less than a shark. Sharks have a lot of teeth. I feel like Jonathan just ain't scared enough prepared to will. <laughs> I said nope. It's turned away. If we go up the stairs now, we'll make it. No way, not with those lights. We have to try. There's another way to get out. Through the gap. <laughs> Through the literal gap. <sighs> okay. You know how when we go to the mall, we park on that side store mm -hmm. by Dillard's. That's where they're headed. <laughs> That's like Doc Ock. It's 
stole her outfit. You shouldn't have picked the shirt off a mannequin. <laughs> Bald eagle has landed. Knife. Come on, how much longer? I don't know. I've never done this before. <laughs> Get ready, lovebirds. You're almost up to bed. It's like dripping, too. Mm -mm. They look like Among Us. Oh my gosh. That is so freaky. So smart. I would have hit it right in the head like a dummy. Good shot, Lucas. I would have gave away my position so hard. When he grows up, he's gonna talk junk about how good he was with a slingshot. They and people are just him, gonna but... underestimate that statement. <laughs> good thing for him, he's got it on film. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you smile though? Because I don't know. He bro. just went. Mm -mm. I would think laser pointers would be in there or something. Give me the code. I know exactly what you mean, like trying to burn Six, your leg off. 608004. That's us in the morning taking uh, Ryan to school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trying to get in the door. 6660004. Murray, the goddamn code is wrong. Oh, you know it? He's, He's gonna, gonna know, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, is he calling Mr. Clark? What time is it? Is Mr. Clark asleep? <laughs> oh, no. I just didn't know who else he would call to ask. <laughs> don't waste your bullets, Nancy. No, 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 come on. Do it for your mom, Nancy. You don't even know. Come on, Shane, we gotta go. Yes. Okay, now you gotta get Billy out the car because we're all good okay. people. Ask me tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Nancy was trying to dot his ass, so was she? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and she stood there too. She's about to just take it. There's no way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Esteban? Oh. Esteban, where have you been? <laughs> Trying to save the world from Russians and monsters. Yeah, of course you have. Get the oh. goddamn number already. <laughs> Who was that? A, uh, it was, uh, a girl. I don't know. <laughs> Copy that. Shifting frequency. Stand by. Dang. I love Susie. <laughs> That's so cute. Dustin talks so good about her. For obvious reasons. You must have made that impression at camp. I copy Susie Poop. Oh, thanks. Susie. Do you know Planck's constant? Do you know the Earth orbits the sun? <laughs> <laughs> Susie Poo, I promise I will make it up to you as soon as possible. You can make it up to me now. I want to hear it. Oh. <laughs> right Susie Poo, this is urgent. And Steve and Robin. <laughs> this is Susie signing off. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Turn around, look at what you see <laughs> in her face. <laughs> the mirror of your face. <laughs> I want to cry my eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> You're dripping on me. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> it's so wholesome. <laughs> I've seen that movie when I was little. It has a weird flying dog on it. That's all I remember from it, honestly. I'm so dead. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, why couldn't have eleven just like Dustin? <laughs> I know. Here's the deal with Mike. <laughs> I love it. It's going. I just love it. <laughs> is 6.626 <laughs> 0704 I want to die right now <laughs> 
You just saved the world. <laughs> Gosh, I miss you, Dusty Bun. I miss you more, Sushi <laughs> I miss you more multiplied by all the stars in our galaxy. No, I miss you. Enough! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, she's got a little, like, I don't know, she had a little demon in her. Did you see that? <laughs> she says, signing off. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Billy had to call the car on his own. He didn't even get to hear that song. No, he needed to hear it. I know. I'm going to change his attitude. It's turning around. Maybe we wore it out. I don't think so. No, it's reporting somewhere else. That's what it always means. Billy said we need help here. There it goes. Billy's communicating with her. I needed like one second because I'm, I'm like teary eyed as mess. Everybody out! You ready to end this? Right back here again. Joyce is iconic in that uniform. Really, because I kind of want her to take it off. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on, come on. No. Billy. Billy, you don't have to do this. Billy, your name is Billy. Billy Hargrove. You live on 4819 Cherry Lane. Billy, please, my master. Mm. No. <gasps> no. He's taking her. How do you Billy. do that so easily? All right, you all set down there. All set, but I've got some company which I'd love you to obliterate. We'll do. Hang tight. I'm three. I'm three. One. Two. <gasps> no! I forgot about that guy. Oh my gosh. Do not hurt Joyce. It's American. It's Ooh. Oh my god. So many people are just sitting at home watching TV or sleeping. They have no idea. No, they're at the fair. Well, not everybody. They're either that but or. Yeah, those people don't know either. They're either that or crumbled up into that thing. Don't be afraid. It'll be over soon. Just try and stay very still. Don't you hope number eight pops up? That's exactly what I was sitting there thinking, but boy, why would she pop up? <laughs> Flee this, you ugly piece of shit! That's right. Hey, you throw Lucas. Hey, John. <laughs> okay, Nancy. Lucas knew those fireworks were coming handy. He knew it. Steve the hair hair. Mm mm. This guy. Oh, that's hurting Billy. Cause uh, he's getting he's getting lit up right now. Dang, they're trying to do him like Jason Pierre Paul. Man, he used to play for the Giants. He blew his hand off with some fireworks or a couple finger movies. Oh my god. Maybe it will come out of him like uh, it did to Will. Get him. Dang, you're trying to hurt him or resuscitate him. Give him CPR or something. Oh my gosh. Let's go, Joyce. You told her the wave was seven feet. This is your new sister. Seven feet. The wave was seven feet. Billy's mom was happy as hell, though, wasn't mm -hmm. she? We ran to her on the beach. There were seagulls. She wore a hat with a blue ribbon, a long dress with a blue and red flower. She was pretty. 
She was really pretty. You were happy. Come on, Joyce. That was crazy. Did you see that? I think you want to help. He's stopping it? Oh, Billy came back. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why is he looking like that? So Hopper's gone. You didn't even say nothing. Are you okay? <laughs> so sad. <laughs> He went out doing the right thing. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Dang, he just got obliterated like Dude, that. Dude, but maybe, just maybe, just maybe. I know, when you don't see a body, you know. Jim, where's Jim? <laughs> they gotta come cover it all up. Keep that thing shut, boys. Looks like he's done got a promotion too. This guy right here? Dr. Owens? Yeah. Well, I'm pissed. No, no, no. If they killed off Hopper, then. My feelings are so hurt right yeah. now. Just in general. Oh my gosh. Every time someone plans a date in a show, they die. I should have known. In anything. Ask Captain America. Dang. This town will never be the same, everybody. You put your mom down as a reference? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? She's like super well respected. You're <laughs> such a dingus. We're... Family uh, video. That's so wholesome. We fired, you know. I'm all burned down and like killed a bunch of people. It That's is. that guy. <laughs> no, no, no. Three favorite movies, go. The Apartment, Hidden Fortress, Children of Paradise. He's used uh, to work at the arcade. Yeah, no. Which Star Wars? One with the teddy bears, duh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one with the teddy bears? Yeah, those are my top three. Classics. So that's what that movie's about? You start Monday. You start never. Dang. Will you just, um, will you give us a minute? Why? Steve. <laughs> <laughs> You have to understand. Keith. Wait, I'm so not I know happy. His taste is a bit pedestrian, but the dingus has other qualities. <laughs> uh, the ladies will come in just to see him. They'll come in in droves. <laughs> he sold so much ice cream, they had to get a second shipment in from Michigan. <laughs> These ladies are hot. They're so very hot. He needs your assistance, Keith. What's in it for you? You got a thing for him or something? <laughs> <laughs> we're just, um, we're just friends. <laughs> Still got it? Yeah. Oh, they're leaving? Joyce? 17 years of my life. I have to pay one day. This is the most you said all season, brother. That's sad, because we just moved like a little over, like not even a year ago, right? I remember it, it was sad. It felt, it did feel like that. What if I just mm. don't let you go? Mm. I think the new owners might kick us out. <laughs> <laughs> like 11. Your dad would love that. <laughs> we could hide you in a tent, like out. Hey. It's gonna be okay. Oh. It's a wise man once said, we've got shared trauma. So it's a little more, right? That's just, I don't know, man, that's scary. Cause once you move away, it just might never be the same. I don't know, but they saved the world like twice. It's a little more. 
Get in there, John. Please work out. Had a boy. Oh, look at her hair. Oh. Can she do it? Oh no. They'll come back. I know they will. Packed your walkie, right? Yes. So she lives with them? Joyce? I, I guess she's Talk moving. To your mom about Thanksgiving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the okay. I'll be there. Oh man. You can come before or after. I was thinking Christmas Day could be super fun because we'd all have cool new presents to play with and uh, sound like a seven year old. <laughs> I like presents too. Aww. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I like I like presents too. Cool, Mike. Yeah. Remember that day at the cabin? You were talking to Max. Um. You talked about your your feelings, your heart. Oh yeah, that man. That was so long ago. Um, <laughs> He's trying to play it so cool. Heat of the moment stuff, and we were arguing. And I don't really remember. What did I say exactly? The emotional synth music. Yeah. That's what we need to look I love up. You too. Oh. It was like, whoa. All oh, Joyce's advice. Donation box? Uh, yeah, sure. What is that? He never talked to you, did he? <laughs> oh, no. He just roughed Mike up. <laughs> Can I read? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Don't read it. Don't read it. Something I've been wanting to talk to you both oh, about. Man. I know this is a difficult conversation, but I care about you both very much. Why it's important that we set these boundaries moving forward. <laughs> we can build an environment <laughs> where we all feel comfortable, trusted, and open to sharing our feelings. <laughs> Then he's gonna raise he's gonna feelings. It a little oh. Bit. Feelings. For so long, I'd forgotten what those even were. I've been stuck in one place, a deep, dark cave. And then I left some egos out in the woods, and you came into my life. And for the first time in a long time, I started to feel things again. I started to feel happy. But lately, I guess I've been feeling distant from you. You're pulling away from me or something. I miss playing board games every night, making triple decker ego extravaganzas at sunrise, watching westerns together before we doze off. But I know you're getting older, growing, changing. That's what scares me. I don't want things to change. And so I think maybe that's why I came in here, to stop that change, to turn back the clock, to make things go back to how they were. But I know that's naive. It's moving, always moving, whether you like it or not. Dang, and Arthur. Yeah, sometimes that's painful, sometimes it's sad, and sometimes it's surprising, happy. <laughs> so you know what? Keep on New growing generation. Up. Don't <laughs> let me stop nerd. you. And when life hurts you, because it will, remember the hurt. The hurt is good. It means you're out of that cave, but please, if you don't mind, for the sake of your poor old dad, keep the door open <laughs> three inches. <laughs> oh, are you okay? okay? Never. <laughs> Time to go. Yeah. Yeah. Minute. Are we where are they going? Alright, that's enough of all this damn tearing up. Oh. Man, I can't believe it. So much went down there. Is there an end screen? Is oh. there really? Oh, there is. How'd you know? Because. Because there's just no way. Yeah, there's just no way. There's just no way that happened like that. That one hurt. Of course. Yeah, 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 Americans. Y'all got some Americans in there? Hey, they gotta drag him down all those stairs. You might as well sedate him. Don't want to bust that. 
creature. They must have one of those creatures or something. What if it's just a little darter and it needs that guy? You were right. He's on his hind legs. So this one's even like more advanced than dark. All right, babe. So that was Stranger Things, the season finale of season three. I just want to say for the record, man, I do not like to tear up in TV shows because I, I, I'm i really not like a crying person, but that was me really either. Sad. I Jeez. just never cry ever. It's when, it's so when, that was bizarre. I just never have cried. So to me, I guess it was when uh, Dustin gave that stuff to Erica. I guess that's what made me tear up because I was like, <laughs> dang, that's so sad. That was a life ruiner. That was sad, man. That was the saddest thing we've seen in a minute on here. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. That was really sad. I don't sad. know what to say because I don't. People say season four is good, but I'm about to cry because how can it be good without Hopper? How can it be Stranger Things? Hopper dying was so sad. I hate that I had to see him go out with a communist sickle on his shoulder. You know, that Jeez. always sucks. But the last scene of Hopper was intense. It was crazy. Um, they did his character right. They really did. He was a hero all the way through. And hopefully at this point he gets, you know, get some rest and hopefully he gets to see his daughter again. So maybe there's something to be said there it's really sad to see joyce leaving hawkins yeah. especially taking l but i guess l that needs a so guardian sweet. now and i just hate that i hate that joyce is leaving because i understand from joyce's perspective like i 100 percent get why she needs to get her kids out of there yeah she needs to celebrate the win she needs to move on make new memories get away from the old ones that haunt her and i understand all that but man by moving away like you're causing a lot of pain you know how when we're somewhere when we're like nothing bad has happened and you know we're like so let's just leave yeah yeah, yeah 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 it's like that situation like you've came out on top two different times like you just have to go you can't be there any longer yeah because if it happens a third time it's, it's just sort of not gonna you. come out yeah just like yeah. you know how that guy we know got shot two times and we're just like dude the third time you oh just, yeah, yeah you're not surviving bro yeah he got shot because he's an absolute idiot yeah for the record we don't he's not our friend he's an acquaintance by the way but besides the point though this junk was nuts this show was I can't believe Billy sacrificed himself like that. I really wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting him to do that at all. So that made his character like his character arc. At least in, you know, the thing about Billy is Billy lived a life full of like pain. You know, Billy something happened terrible to Billy as a kid. And, you know, a lot of terrible things happened to a lot of people as kids. You know, ultimately, he did grow to be what 18 years of age. And he had plenty of time in his life to like work out his character and like who he was. And even with an abusive dad, you know, I just feel like ultimately in the end, he just never really got an opportunity to move past that. Yeah. I guess. I'm trying to be sensitive about what I say because I'm not trying to say anything bad. I'm just trying to say what I mean and express it correctly. Like, I'm just sad that Billy never really got a chance to outgrow his 18 year old. Yeah. Mind. Because even though Billy, the way Billy was riding down the road, putting everyone at risk, how reckless he is. Like to me, those types of things are like unforgivable to me, you know, like in my mind, I'm like best wishes to you, Billy, but I don't want you on my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't really have anything for you because you're a danger, but it, it just sucks because I mean, he was just a young kid in a yeah. sense. I mean, 18 is not a kid. Don't get me wrong. But when I was 18, I was extremely emotional. You just had a way different so. mindset when you're 18 than like as you grow. Absolutely so, so it just sucks. He never got to cope with that or learn from it. He just had to make the ultimate sacrifice in the end, which is Billy was just a complicated character. He was cliche in a lot of ways, especially early on, but he was just a really deep character because I guess it just goes to show, man, like when stuff like that happens to you, you never really know what type of effect it's going to take right. on you, you know, and Billy was just someone who just took it really hard, mainly because it was his fault. Like he just had a really terrible story. So um, I thought Billy was a great addition to the season. I just think that he was gone a little too early. I noticed the second he died, I wasn't happy that he died. I wish he would have stayed around longer because I wanted I to wish see he him overcome. Been, yeah, I wish he would have been able to, like, you know, him and Max been able to rekindle their, like, you like, know, I was it thinking, was not good. It was a bad situation. I was thinking in my head, maybe Billy comes through and he's still like a dick, you know, because like that's just who he is to his core. But like a more personable dick, I guess, you know right. what I mean? Like I was hoping he'd be like, hey, Max, and then like hits her with the like, don't be late. Well, he says it like a dick, but then don't be later. Like I'll break your skateboard. But they have like a smiling moment, yeah. you know, but we didn't get that. We just got death and carnage. Yeah. And so sadness, he didn't get so. a good, like his 
his redemption arc was like at the very end and that was it. <laughs> That's so sad. Well, I mean, ultimately, Billy wasn't much older than the other characters in the show. I mean, mm. physically, he was older, you know, because he was like past like, you know, he's 18 years old. So, I mean, physically, he was past, but mentally, you know, you're not that much yeah, you're not that much older at 18 than you Especially are when you're when 15. You don't have parents you know, it's just a couple years, so to guide you, yeah. And in a lot of ways, I mean, Billy was emotionally stunted from the beginning, you know. Yeah. So it's really sad to see Billy go. It's sadder to see uh, Hopper go, not to compare, but obviously, just super gut wrenching to see him go. Joyce, I guess everyone that she gets feelings for is ultimately just going to perish. So yeah. she's going to start feeling like she's just a magnet for disaster. So that's a whole other can of worms. I guess we're probably going to get into. And poor Elle has to move now. But I mean, it's I'm really happy that Joyce took her along. Cause, Joyce didn't have a choice. Right. But she's that, family. Yeah. And she owes that to Hopper. Right. And and the thing about Elle is anyone else gets their hands on Elle. She's potentially a science project. But mm. Hopper knew that he could trust Joyce enough to keep her. And so she honored Hopper by doing that. And she honored Elle because I'm yeah. sure she loves Elle. I love God, that. that was, it was sad. So, it was that so was wholesome. So that part. Uh, I think Steve, uh, Steve was great in this, you know, just, yeah, this season was good for Steve. It was yes. redemption. Steve, uh, the problem with Steve early on, he was extremely pushy with Nancy, you know, I guess just cause he's young, you know, like, in hindsight, well, he, he had that whole I'm the man mentality, like even Robin was saying. Well, he didn't really think that. He pretended. Yeah, he, he portrayed that. Yeah. that. yeah. He cared a lot about what people thought. And I think I don't know what was up with him and Nancy early on, but he definitely matured out like a lot. I mm -hmm. mean, I think they took Steve's character and just gave him a complete 360. Right. I don't think I was necessarily wrong about Steve in the beginning. I just think he grew up. Yeah. And started acting like more. I love him and Dustin's relationship. It's the best. Yeah. I like him and Robin's. Oh, him I and, love their relationship. Their too. relationship's so good. I think Robin's such a good addition. Uh, yeah, I, I still like think her. one of the most shocking moments of the season was when she turned out to be gay. Really, I thought the most shocking know. is that she's Uma Thurman's daughter. That's well, that's my, sick. That's, that's shocking cool. to me. Yeah. Well, that's only cool because we're on this. It's just so right relevant now, so. to us. So it's like, why? Like, how when does we that watched, happen? When we watched Kill Bill two, I was thinking that. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, how does that happen? So just the execution of that scene with Steve, that was a shocking moment. Yeah. And it just really goes to show. Just the range of their friendship, right? And I think that that's something, I don't know, it's almost like Steve saw something inside of her that maybe he would have never have seen if he would have known, like, the nature of her sexuality. But maybe he saw her in a light, and so maybe they're going to have a very unique friendship, and it's just going to be very unique for Steve. Do you yeah, get what I'm trying to say? Because, yeah. I mean, I've never been in that situation, obviously, like, like yeah. not like that, so... It's just one of those things, you know, I, I don't know. I thought it was a really good scene. I think mm. I love Robin in the show. I think yeah. she's she's a great addition. She really if we're going to lose awesome characters like Billy and Hopper, we have to add some. Yeah, um, thankfully. And then Alexi, who was like a good character for five minutes. That really sucked. That sucked, too. Like, yeah. why'd y'all do us like that? Y'all made us well, love that guy. We loved him because he was like they made him out to be a child. basically. Yeah, yeah well, they made. Yeah, because he when he was speaking Russian, he was like. For real, like he was kind of rude. It's kind of like, yeah, I don't like them that much. They're Murray, stupid. can we talk about Murray? Yeah. So early on, we said Murray was creepy because Murray was definitely being creepy. Okay, <laughs> I still stand by that. But the thing about Murray is, just because you're creepy doesn't mean that you're like a horrible person right. by any means, right? Because I mean, even Hopper knew he was creepy. He said, "We don't want to scare the kids by you coming to the sphere," but he's a creepy like in a funny way. Like you guys a, might not realize it, but Mrs. October is creepy. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> To me, um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But no, but in all seriousness, man, I absolutely think his character is a ten out of ten. Also, yeah, when I'm, he brings so much good comic relief, you guys, need it. Just so y'all know, man, if I critique a character, if I say something bad about a character, it doesn't mean I hate the character. It doesn't mean the character sucks in my mind. None of that. Sometimes I'm just talking junk. You know what I mean? I I don't think near as much about what I say as you guys probably think about what I say. So I'll say stuff just not even thinking about it. Don't take me serious, but. I just know we gave him a hard time too, or I did at first about being weird, which he is. But at the same time, just a phenomenal character, man. Yeah. Because he's he's a funny character because there are people like that, you know. And most of the time, those people you don't really get to know. Yeah. But maybe if you did, you'd realize they're really funny, eccentric people. So I just thought his character was phenomenal. I hope we see more. Right. He was just him. like a lawyer who got, who got caught up. Like he got caught up in the stuff. The reason this show is going to go down in so many people's minds is one of the greatest shows ever made. I genuinely think. Game of Thrones captured something that I can't put my finger on. It was just, it was epic to the extreme, right? Like, it was just... The stakes are always high. Like, I just felt always like something, anything could go. 
That's what I felt like. Well, the like show just it. felt big. You know what yeah. I mean? Like colossal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not in terms of like gaining weight. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm just joking. That's a little wing weird. But anyways, oh. the show felt really colossal and like big. Yeah. Right. This show is the most charming show I've ever seen. And it takes seen. place in one little town. So it might not be the most colossal, epic, yeah. huge show, you know, with the highest levels of orchestra production theater but it's just it's charming like it's charming to yeah that never ending story thing is single-handedly the most charming thing i've ever seen on tv when phoebe popped up I went, who's phoebe not, no not phoebe phoebe cates is one they kept yeah, calling her uh, hotter than or Susie. whatever cuter than Susie. yeah that was her name <laughs> Susie. when she popped up on screen bro like i could feel i don't you guys couldn't feel it because you're on that side of the screen but man mrs october her energy just you just was really glad to see that little girl yeah. i could tell you thought that was just such a wholesome moment it really was. I, I like that moment, man. <laughs> I'm going to uh, cry thinking about that moment, so let's not talk about it anymore. That was good. That was good, man. That was the best That was the best episode of Stranger Things yet, you know, yet. If season four is any better than this episode, I'm going to... I don't even know. The comparison I was going to make said cuss words in it, so I didn't want to say it. You're going to what? I don't know. <laughs> Where are you going to be like, if it's better than season three, I'm going to shit or something? <laughs> like, is that what you're going to say? I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know what I was going to say, but it was probably just like, you know, vulgar. And I'm glad I didn't say it. 300 videos in. You're going to be talking like a sailor over here. No. On, welcome back. Welcome back to the fucking channel. <laughs> Subscribe. Ew. <laughs> That's what you're doing when you're sleeping on me. Ew. Anyway. Ew. <laughs> Anyways. This Mrs. October cannot stand the fact that when she sleeps. No, on you. stop! I don't. Anyways, okay, guys, anyways, I don't like toots. I think they're disgusting. Okay? She does it to me when she's sleeping. Boy, she, she he's lying. He's lying. Anyways, guys. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. We say that because we mean it, man. You guys really are the best. We couldn't do it without you, obviously, because then we'd be making videos for Ghost. But <laughs> thank you right. guys so much for tuning in, man. This show right here is just—it's a treat for sure. And we have one more season left, and I know for a fact that. If the season finale of next season ends like this one, it's just gonna be a lot to handle, bro. Like I couldn't, you know, good. I couldn't watch this and then go somewhere after because I might like they might try to pull me over and like arrest me for a DUI or something because I look I just crazy. Got done yelling at you or something. Like I look cry. crazy. <laughs> yeah. You are, you've been crying. I know. I like can't go anywhere after this, but geez. yeah, just such a charming show. But yeah, man, like. Basically, so never ending story though. Was that like a ten out of ten moment for you? Yeah, the whole. Every, oh my god! These last two episodes were was phenomenal, and you know, going into this last episode, it was so much more of the episode before. You know, it all took place in the same places and all, and I just I really really like the strict like the strategy of where they choose to make everything go down. Like, I don't even get what I'm trying to say, but the locations and all that they were just perfect. I, I really. Couldn't imagine anyone doing it better. So, and you know how every season they switch like main characters. Like, who, who would you even say was this season? You can't. There's nobody. There's no main characters. I mean, you could probably say Dustin and Steve were the main characters. You got a little lipstick on your teeth. I don't know, man. Jonathan's a main character to me. I love Jonathan. I love every character. I'm about to just name them all. Really, I just I think Jonathan's so underrated. You know, I really like. <laughs> Why do you love Jonathan so much? Because Jonathan's just very like. I don't know. Jonathan just has like a whole I'm not saying anything on Jonathan, but like on the scale of characters, like I don't even. Well, because Jonathan <laughs> has like, Jonathan's just very chill. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's what, that's why I kind of don't think so, about him. Much. Well, that's why, that's why I like him because he comes through in big moments. Like he's very chill, but then he's very brave for Nancy in a lot of ways. And so uh, who's your favorite character of all? That's impossible. My, I that's already impossible. know mine. Mine's Dustin. That's impossible because I literally like Steve as much as I like Erica. Oh, yeah. I like, like I, I, I like them decide. all, too. I, I like them all, They're too. They're all such good characters. I, I, and even though Robin's only been here for a season, like I think Robin's like an OG. Yeah. I like Max. Max to me. I love Some Max, people say yeah. Max doesn't really hit as hard for them. Like they're just. I but like I love her. Max. Yeah, I, there's She's something such, about her. She has such high energy. I she like reminds it. me of a kid I know. So that's why I like Max so much. I think she has such sure. high energy, and I think. I, I like her banter that she has with everyone. It's not just yeah. it's not just one person. She has a banter with everyone. I, I, I like all the characters so much, man. It's impossible to say. I think I even like different. Ted Wheeler. I don't know if the, I know it's weird, but I just like Ted Wheeler because he's so predictable. Like, yeah. he's, <laughs> I, I like him, too. Yeah. It, this show is awesome. Uh, I love it. At this point, man, I'm basically just, you know, beating the show off. <laughs> <laughs> I keep praising it. So. <laughs> 
they ain't paying me nothing over here so you know with all that being said thank you <laughs> thank you so much we thank you guys it. so much for tuning in man we you know we laugh a lot not because we're on drugs but because genuinely the you know we're having the time of our lives man when we when we turn on these lights and hit record it's just fun and it's, it's fun because we're watching like such incredible shows but also because i get to hang out with her and i mean who wouldn't so <laughs> who wouldn't want to do that i know and, when i hang out with you i'm always smiley anyways right i love hanging out with me right uh-huh. I'm just kidding. Uh, oh, yeah. And today on Rocket League, we went six and one. Yeah. If y'all don't know, Mrs. October, she's practicing Rocket League. She's getting good, hitting flip resets. All right, guys. Definitely not. <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in for real. We're going to see you guys, you know, super quick because we're definitely going to get back into Stranger Things. Hopefully, the next season ends a lot less sad because then we're caught up and then God knows how long it's going to be until we watch it. And if there's one thing I've learned about myself, I do not like to wait on things. So yeah, me uh, either. I don't like to either. This and season five comes out soon. That's crazy. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and feeling the charm of the show for sure. I know you guys can just. We gotta go learn never ending story now. The song and sing it together. Yes. <laughs> in the next episode, guys, we're gonna be singing it in our intro. But if we like, don't... if you like the video, <laughs> oh god, I'll probably forget to be honest. So if I forget, just harass me and i'll make a video we'll, we'll post it but baby you know what i'm talking about the flying dog i've seen the flying dog but i, know I don't know yeah. what it's even about like for some reason i thought it was about an indian in a cupboard or something 100 percent not all right guys i'm gonna get out of here before we say something silly <laughs> we'll see y'all on the next one peace